Uh, good evening, everybody, and a very warm welcome to you all. My name is Mr. Van Art, the head teacher of the morning school, and it's an honour and privilege to lead our wonderful school. And um, through our high expectations and caring approach, we've built something special at our school, and I'm really delighted to have the opportunity to share this with you this evening. Our exceptional staff and our students are our biggest strength, and the bond between us is very strong. Our teachers are warm, supportive and kind. They have high standards and encourage our students to be the best people they can be every single day. Our school is built on traditional values, where mutual respect is developed between students and staff. The Morning School Way is the foundation of our school and is summarised by our three character values of being caring, determined and reflective. We, we strive to demonstrate these values in everything that we do, making the Morning School a really special place to be. Students have a tutor session every morning where they learn about what the Morning School Way means. In these sessions we develop our students' character. We give them the opportunity to learn about and demonstrate determination and resilience. We teach them to be kind and caring to each other, valuing and celebrating commonalities and differences. We also encourage them to be reflective and to learn from their mistakes, never giving up and always trying to be better in everything they can do. We develop positive partnerships with our parents and carers and deliver outstanding pastoral support for our students. Every year group has a dedicated pastoral team which consists of a tutor, a non-teaching guidance manager and a pastoral leader. These staff are exceptional and are always here to support our students and be that vital link between school and home. I think one of the key factors in making sure children are successful is open communication. We make it easy for parents and carers to contact us with any issues, no matter how small. We see school life as a journey together, and I think the more we communicate and help each other on the way, the happier and more successful our students, your children, will be. We really do have the highest expectations for our students every single lesson, every single day. And that means that all our children achieve and exceed their potential. We have a traditional approach to our teaching. We're firm but fair. Our classrooms are extremely calm and positive places where all our students can flourish. As a result of that positive climate for learning that we've created together, visitors regularly comment that our staff and students are smiling, happy and enjoying their learning. Over the past four years, we've benefited from excellent staff turnover, a very low staff turnover, enabling us to consistently deliver really, really great teaching. We're a caring family school, with 22 of our staff to send our own children to the morning school. In our work, we often ask ourselves the question, is this good enough for our own children? And if we're not sure, we always strive to make a change to make things even better. We're really proud of our curriculum at the morning school and all of us have worked really hard on it. We've worked hard to ensure that every single student, no matter what their starting point is or their background, gets the chance to be ambitious, enriching and exciting lessons in every subject. We make sure all students are challenged. We teach to the top and provide lots of support and care to help our students master the ambitious content that we teach in school. We provide all students with a beautifully resourced and carefully planned curriculum. Every student in every subject receives a curriculum booklet which is available on our website which helps our children know what is happening in their school life and for lessons day to day. We're proud of our exciting, rich and powerful curriculum that all our Year 7s will experience as soon as they enter the morning school. Our students gain amazing qualifications both at GCSE and sixth form last year achieving the best ever in the history of the school. It really was a truly special moment uh, for me as a head teacher, watching the students' faces as they opened their envelopes and seeing the amazing grades they achieved. These grades will open doors for them and give them such great chances in life. These grades reflect the amazing work of our staff and students, helping them to gain entry to top universities, high-level apprenticeships and careers of their choice. I'd now like to introduce to you two of our brilliant six formers, Brooke and Finn, who are going to speak to you this evening. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My 
name is Brooke and I'm currently in year 13 and one of the head students. In previous years of my life, I had major issues with my confidence as well as lacking self-belief. I do consider myself to be a hard-working student and strive to achieve the best grades I possibly can. However, previously, I found this difficult. I feel as though if you believe in yourself and what you're capable of, your academic stride and motivation will improve drastically. I cannot by any means stand here today and say that I have achieved all of this on my own, as I would be lying. The teachers at the morning school have pushed me out of my comfort zones and have driven me to stand where I am stood today. From helping me with difficult tasks, to tackling my confidence issues, to even helping me overcome my stress when exams approach, they have been there for me. These are all factors that I feel a lot of students face, however I do not believe a lot of schools will approach the issue as effectively as the Moon School will. Teachers have taken their time to talk to me, helping me to resolve my issues and have enabled me to now become enthusiastic in my subjects without fear of failure. They may see that part of being successful is being resilient through setbacks. Through the school's help, I have gone from being afraid to raise my hand in class to applying to be head student, which I succeeded at. This involved me writing an application, followed by presenting in front of my year group, which without the support and encouragement I had received previously, I would never have done. Over the years, especially in Year 12, I can confidently say my faith in my own ability has substantially improved. <coughs> if you would have told me a few years ago I would be doing any form of public speaking, I probably would have laughed at you. Yet here I am. I honestly believe that if it wasn't for this school, I wouldn't be stood in front of you all today. I believe that this school and staff truly care about their students and will always go an extra mile to allow their students to be as successful or even more than the next. So if your child is willing to work hard, please encourage them to ask for help provided if they need it, as it may change their experience like it did mine. Thank you. My name's Finn and I'd just like to say thank you for coming today. Today I will be talking about school as a whole and how I have found my last couple of years in the Mormon school has been really good for me and how it has developed me into the young man I am today. In my old school I felt like I was going to fail and that I was not going to pass any of my exams because I had dyslexia. I started to become a in class and <laughs> I started to become naughty in class because I never had the necessary support to help me grow and succeed. I was sitting at home, dreading going to school each day, until my parents told me I was moving to the morning school. Of course at the time, I was scared and worried. That would not fit in because I was different. But after a while, mum and dad calmed me down. I saw it as a fresh start. I remember walking through the same gates you walked through today, and I was so scared, I just wanted to explode. I walked through this very hall, looking at this very stage, and standing right now, and thinking to myself, can I do this? And that I will get through my first day. My first teacher was Mr. Addis. He showed me that this school was amazing, and that I was not a failure. Mr. Addis was a drama teacher, and still is a drama teacher. And he always saw something in me, what no one else did. I started to push myself to where I am today, with a distinction star in drama. When lunch started, I was sitting in the classroom all on my own, until a couple of students, who I'm still friends with today, asked me to play some football on the field, and I felt so amazed how nice they were to me. I thought that it would, would take me ages to even get friends. After that, each day, I would play football and laugh and joke with them. It felt so different from my old school. It was the same with the teachers as well. All the teachers here just wanted the best for me and wanted to push me to where I, my best potentials. Always checking if I was okay and felt that I, I was supported. 
Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. After a while, it felt like I'd been here since day one, just like any other student. I had started paying attention in class, and my grades started to head up. I, get, I had great teachers and mates around me supporting me, always. During year 11, we were all in lockdown, and I found it hard to concentrate at home. Once again, teachers helped me out by giving me checkups on Zooms, and maybe calling me if I was uh, making sure I was okay and understanding the work. Once we all came back to school, we had our exams. I remember that, that I felt so scared and worried that I wouldn't be able to pass because of my old school. And then bad memories of my old school telling me that I couldn't do this. I remember staring at that paper for a while and finally opened it and started writing remembering all the skills I'd learned over the last couple of years. I wrote till my hand dropped off, and I finally finished that paper. After I got my results back from my, all of my classes, I was so shocked to see how well I had done. It made me know for a fact that I will be successful, and that I'm not a failure. I promise to every one of you here today that the morning school has the time, the help, what your child might need. It has certainly helped me become the better person I am today. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Bernard, and for having me, and I hope you have a great evening. Thank you so much, sir, for everything. We're so proud of, of both of them, amazing students. And um, thinking about our sixth form, um, we are so proud of our sixth form students. Um, we have a record 27 students going to university this year, studying subjects ranging from computing, cyber security, ancient history, the arts and physiotherapy. And destinations include top universities like the University of Nottingham, London School of Economics, York and Newcastle University. Students have also secured some great careers, leading to join the armed forces, apprenticeships and supported internships. And these successes are a result of our great teaching, close partnerships with parents, and high expectations in everything that we do. We have these high expectations because we care about our students. We want them to be the best they can be. But of course, for us, academic grades are not everything. At the morning school, we are committed to ensure we develop our students' character. We know that softer skills of communication, teamwork, and developing leadership are so important for our students to be happy and also really valued by employers. We take personal development very seriously at the morning school and are proud to be the only non-selective, non-independent secondary school in England to be awarded the Kite Mark Plus Award last summer by the School of Character. Every student at the morning school benefits from outstanding personal development. From year seven, they have access to 60 extracurricular clubs and I'm extremely grateful to our incredible staff offering these. They range from music, dance, drama, fitness, football, basketball, ecology, debating, art club, and many, many more. It's compulsory for our students to take part in at least one lunchtime or after school club. As we know through this, they'll have fun, make friends, and develop their character. As part of our commitment to personal development, we ensure that all our Year 9 students complete the Bronze Duke of Edinburgh Award. We supply the funding for this, and all the students complete the expedition on our school site. This gives our students this amazing opportunity to develop their resilience, determination, teamwork, and leadership. As I said before, skills that will make them happy, develop their, co their confidence, and really help them in interviews. We have an exceptional PE department who offer incredible opportunities to our children every weeknight through the free clubs we offer after school. Boys and girls sport is extremely strong and our students love to represent the morning school. Last year we became district champions in girls and boys basketball, athletics, rugby and football. One of the proudest moments was watching one of our football teams or three of our football teams in their finals at the Gallagher Stadium. Year 7s, Year 8s and our girls and our Key Stage 4 girls team. The girls team won their final 6-0. Whenever we play matches, many of our own teachers give up their time to watch, demonstrating that special bond that we have with our students that is part of the morning school way. We seek to reward and celebrate our fantastic students whenever we can. 
We issue reward points every lesson when we see great work in class or our students demonstrating the morning school way. Students then awarded prestigious badges they proudly wear around school. Every term, we produce a gallery of excellence where we share with parents and carers the amazing work that's produced every lesson. We send postcards home to our students, congratulating them on the great work they're doing. Students also write cards to their teachers, support staff and caretakers, thanking them for their great work and support. I think starting in a new secondary school can be a scary thought. And we really think carefully about how we can support our year sixes into year sevens through their transition to secondary school through an amazing transition program. We have a well-established summer school that is very well attended. This year, over 160 children took advantage of this support. Through the summer school, the children learn about the morning school way, develop strong friendships, and gain confidence in our systems and routines. To support our, our new year sevens, they have their own playground. They have early access to the canteen, and that happens all through the year to help them develop their confidence, be happy, and settle into our school. We're now going to hear from one of our wonderful Year 7 students, Ruby. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ruby, and I am here to tell you all about my experiences at the school so far. When I first joined the morning school, I was really nervous. But after my first day, I knew that this was definitely the school for me. Leaving primary was hard, but knowing that I could make a new start with new friends would help me. I always thought that the teachers would give us really hard work, work I couldn't even understand. Instead, the teachers made us feel really welcome and never move on until we are ready and that we understand the work. They always try to challenge us, but they will never push you to a point where you feel comfortable. Finding my way across school has been hard, but luckily the teachers are always there to help and guide us. Let's just say this is a massive challenge for all of us. The clubs here are so fun and enjoyable. My personal favourites are homework club and cooking club. You can do as many of them as you please, and they are on at lunchtime and after school. The library is also always open before and after school as well. During the summer holidays, we had a chance to go to summer school. Summer school taught me to be kind, caring, professional, and to persevere during everything I do. I really enjoyed summer school and all of the fun activities we did. The last thing I'd like to tell you about is our reward system. The morning school is somewhere where we, where we are all encouraged to do our best. When we do a great piece of work, homework, or give good answers and lessons, we are given morning school waypoints. Getting more in school waypoints makes us feel really proud, and when we get a certain amount, we are given badges to wear our places and rewards in assembly. The more in school has taught me so much already, and I can't wait to learn more. Thank you for your time. have that uh, confidence uh, to be able to speak in front of a hall of nearly 400 people. What an amazing thing. So thank you so much, Ruby. Well done. Um, we have a grammar stream in our school, and that's a well-established part of our school. And it ensures that students are appropriately stretched and challenged. Students that decide not to go to grammar and choose us are well supported in the grammar stream. What we do is ensure the building blocks are put in place early on, which enables our students to progress to sixth form and university. I think one of the worries we have as parents and carers is whether we'll get into the school that we've fallen in love with. We've been oversubscribed over the past few years, but have a wide catchment area and will always strive to make places available. I'd like to finish by saying that I know how difficult this next decision is for you. I think it's hard enough for us as parents and carers coming to terms with the fact that our children are growing up without the difficulty of choosing a new school. I was in the same position as you, looking for a school for my children. And what, we, what I wanted for them was simple, and I think it's what we all want. I wanted their time at secondary school to be filled with happiness and enjoyment. I wanted them to go to a school with traditional values, where students behave well and are kind to each other. And finally, I wanted their school to be the kind of place that believes in them and will support them all the way to achieving their dreams. 
I know because of our amazing staff and wonderful students, our school does all these things. And I know we have a fantastic evening looking around tonight. But please don't forget to come and see us on a normal school day. You can book an open morning tour or the end of your visit with Ms Truscott in reception. Thank you so much for being with us tonight and visiting us. And please remain seated while Mr Williams speaks with you regarding the tour. Thank you.